Hey lighting people, today I've decided to do a little bit of a different kind of a video than what I usually do, and I'm going to show you four really fun phasers that look pretty complex and are really interesting, but they're actually not too difficult to make, and I'm going to show you how that works. Now, several of these are kind of similar to ones that I've seen people asking how to make online, so if you're one of those people, thank you for the idea, but um, I have kind of added my own twist and I think these are going to be really fun and we're gonna have a great time making them. The first one I'm going to do is going to be on my vertical pixels and the dimmer is kind of gonna look like falling droplets or however you wanna phrase that, where they're all coming in in a certain sequence from above and it's a nice symmetrical look. And then the next one we're going to look at is going to be a really fun speed variation version of um, this, a similar kind of effect will start from a similar place, but it is going to look like as if it's getting wider and narrower, faster and slower. It's a really cool, unique kind of effect. And then the third one we're going to look at is going to be a red, white, and blue swiping sort of effect where white wipes on the other colors, or that's how it looks. So it looks like as if white pulls in red and then white pulls in blue. And then the last one we're going to do is going to be a variation of that, where we do a similar kind of speed variation thing as with the dimmer in the second example. But this one's going to be with the color and it's going to look very interesting indeed. All right, now you've seen my examples, we're going to talk about how to build them. Let's get started. So on the first one, we're going to select our air pixels. We're going to create a simple dimmer, zero to 100. And then as you can see, they're coming on, they're coming off. We're going to want to change our phase. Actually, we're not going to change our phase. We are going to go into a matrix and change phase here. We're going to set phase to Y 0 to 360. And now, as you can see, they're all coming down, but they're all doing it together. So the first row, second row, third row are all fading together. And because our lights are at different heights, this isn't quite the look I'm going for. So let's try offsetting our X phase. And we're gonna set this to 0 to 360. And now it's going a diagonal across here. And I really like the way that looks here, but it's kind of treating it like as if this is all kind of one thing. And we have a clear split down the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add X wings of two. And now it's mirroring across the middle. And you can see that it uh, split this. It's going diagonally across the wings. So it's going in from each side and it's symmetrical. Now the next change I'm going to make is going to be to the width because this is nice, but I want less lights and I want it to be a little bit faster of a transition from on to off. So I'm going to select both steps and I'm going to change the transition to, let's try 50%. It's not bad, uh, let's try 30%, kind of like that, but we need the width to be less for the second step, so, or right now on the first step. On the second step, which is at 100, I'm going to change this to maybe 50%, and do you like how that looks? Now that I've changed the width, I'm going to change the measure to two and just to keep things consistent because otherwise we have a total width of one and a half. So I like that, but I'm actually gonna change the transition of this step to 50%. And now it comes on a little faster than it turns off. I'm gonna change this one to 20% and I think that's how I like it. So we come on and we fade off and we're going from one side to another. That's the look I wanted. Okay, so now we have these falling raindrops kind of from the top to the bottom. It's reflected across the center. And I'm going to store that right here. And now I'm going to go ahead to the second example, but we're going to start with this phaser as a starting point. And we are going to add on to it. Now, there's not actually a lot that we need to change here to get the look we're going for. I'm going to go to the Y layer and I'm going to change speed to Y to 600. And look at that, how crazy is that? They kind of coming on in a big sweep and then they're fluttering like that and making a big sweep and they're also changing directions. So right now it looks like they're going up, going down, going up, 
going down, going up. So it's a really cool effect this is. And as you can see, it's doing 60 to 600. I like this speed range, but you can play with that and change it to suit your needs. Changing the speed range is one of those things that I never thought I would ever have a use for. And you really need a wide range in speed for it to look good and a lot of lights. But this is a really cool effect that you can make that way. And you can even change like the X speed as well. And now it just got faster is I think what happened. Honestly, I can't tell a huge difference other than it's faster. I'm going to change this to none. But that is the second effect. So let's store this here. And now we're going to move on to the floor pixels and start working with color effects. So select my floor pixels. I'm going to set them at 100% dimmer value and deactivate dimmer so that I can see what they're doing. And we're going to go to color. And in our first step, we're going to select feature and set everything to 100. Then in the second step, we're going to start with linking feature and turn everything to zero and then link single and set red to 100. Now we have a red white fade. Step three, feature everything at 100. So we're back to white now. And then in step four, feature everything to zero, single blue at 100. And now we've got a white, red, white, blue, white, red, white, blue. Cool, but we need to make it look like as if white is dragging these other colors in. To do that, let's change phase to zero through 90. And now white goes, red goes, white goes, blue goes. The next step will be to change the width. And we're going to want our white steps to have less width. So we're going to take step one to let's say 20%. And then step two to 80%. Step three to 20%. Step four to 80%. Now white, blue, white, red, and the white comes pretty fast. One thing I do want to do is change the transition. So for this one, let's try 50% and see how we feel about that. And then actually, I'm gonna change them all to 50%. That looks pretty nice. So white, drags in blue and red. If I lower this to 30%, it's a little bit snappier. And obviously you can always tweak this to your preference, but this is a really fun effect. Just remember phase needs to be zero through 90 to make it look this way. If you do zero through 180, you're gonna get multiple colors at the same time. If that's what you want, obviously that's cool. Zero through 160 is showing all steps at a time basically. While zero through 90 is just kind of letting you see a couple of them in this way. So we're going to store that in this preset. And then our next phaser is going to be kind of like a combination of these two. So we're going to select this and I also need to set these lights at 100 so I can see what they're doing. And now I'm going to go to a matrix and I'm going to change the speed 2x to 600. And would you look at that crazy red, white, and blue fireworks look with all of these colors. I would actually be curious to see how this looks if we change it to 0 through 360. Pretty neat. It's just taking up more space, sort of. So those are some of the fun things that you can do with your phaser engine once you start getting into some more complex sorts of phasers. These aren't even terribly complex, but Hopefully they'll inspire you to see what other kinds of cool things you can do with the phaser engine. And definitely let me know if you have more questions about other types of cool phasers that I could figure out and show you because it is definitely a fun hobby. So I will see you in another video later and I hope you have an amazing week.